Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a gear using MicroStation. You're going to start out by drawing two circles. One's going to be smaller than the other one. And the units are arbitrary, so bear with me. Uh, it's just kind of to show the proof of concept. And you're going to make a center line, uh, and then you're going to use the copy parallel feature and create two lines above and two lines below. And this is going to be to outline the gear tooth for the gear. And then make sure you use the trim feature, uh, trim to element, you can select any of the lines and then select the outer line and that just cleans it up because we're going to need to use those intersections for constraints later on. The next thing you're going to want to do is get rid of that outer circle outside of those five parallel lines. And again, you're just going to use the trim to feature, select that inside portion and then select the outer parallel lines and it'll trim the rest of the circle. Then you're going to want to place an arc and I just select that intersection between one of the parallel lines and the outer circle and then I draw it as close as possible and I leave a little bit on the end so that I can trim it later and make sure that the intersection is perfect. And I do that on both sides. You could also just focus on one side and then do the mirror uh, feature and that will work as well. And then we're just going to want to get rid of our construction lines and so I will use the trim to element feature to do this. Next, we're going to go ahead and constrain this tooth. And so we're going to fix the center line, and then we're going to use the coincident feature in order to lock that outer edge with each arc. And then we need to do the same on this inside portion, but first we need to turn that edge up a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to constrain this. Uh, we're going to verify it by measuring the distances. And that's going to be 0 0.15. And the second one is also going to be 0 0.15, so that's good. And then we're going to measure this outside one as well. Yep, that checks out. looking good. So now we're just putting those uh, coincident constraints on the edge of the arc in order to uh, line those up. And then we're going to delete all of those construction lines that we drew including that center line, and then we have our tooth. So the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna use our create a complex chain feature, and that's gonna allow this gear tooth to just be one part. And then we're gonna wanna select the construct array, and we're gonna do polar, and I put 22 teeth in this gear. You can do however many you'd like, and make sure you select 360 and then you pull that into the center of the circle. And then you're gonna to wanna to delete the circle, uh, select place an arc, make sure the method is start to center. So you select one edge of a gear tooth in the center of the circle, and then you bring it over to the next gear tooth. And then you select construct array, and you draw it just like you did with a gear tooth. And that will create the entire gear outline. Then you would like to create a complex chain, and so you do it automatically. You can just select one link, and it'll automatically trace it out for you, and that makes it one unit. And then we're going to want to place another circle in the center. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to create a region for the outside, and again, we're going to do com create a complex shape, an automatic method, just like before. Select one line; it should automatically create it. And now when we create a region, we can delete that center circle from the outer side. And that's going to create our thickness for that section. And then we're going to do the same thing for this center section. So we create one circle, create another circle, and then we create the region by selecting the outside circle and the, the inside circle. And that gets rid of that center portion. And then we're going to create the center portion uh, because these are three different layers of thicknesses for this gear. Then we're going to head over to the modeling workflow and we're going to extrude that outer portion as well as the center portion they're going to be the exact same thicknesses 
and then we're gonna make the middle section uh, slightly less thick and adjust it to where it's uh, symmetric. So I'm gonna change that to the top view. Then I'm gonna select move. I'm gonna select the center portion. And then I'm gonna go to the Z axis and type in 0 0.25. And that's just gonna adjust it to where it's completely symmetrical on the top and the bottom. And I'll show you that here in a second. There we go. And I'm going to go back over to uh, solids. I'm going to select hole. And then I'm going to select the center. And that is going to be the hole for the gear. And that is how you would make a gear in MicroStation. And thank you for watching. Hopefully you were able to find something useful out of this video.